knows what. Season 1 wrapped up with our protagonist Juliet Nichols being sent out of the silo to clean. But she refuses and continues on her journey to find out the truth behind hundreds of years of being forced underground. We also have other questions heading into what looks to be a riveting season 2 of the show and wanted to address some of the unanswered questions from the maiden season of Silo. Where is the Silo located? At the conclusion of season 1, we witness Juliet going further than anyone who has ever been compelled to leave the Silo. She is able to make a finding that raises more questions than it answers once she reaches the place where those who came before her have collapsed. Yes, it would seem that the beautiful green meadow and lone tree at the top of the hill are artificial computerized images created to further control the silo's inhabitants. If it is, though, why? When Juliet ventures past the deceptive visuals, she discovers that she is all by herself on the surface of a moon or planet that is a vast wasteland. What we thought was a grassy knoll turns out to be the ridge of a cratered hole on the environment's surface, and it is just one of many. So where in the hell are they exactly, and why would the judicial and mayor Bernard Holland, Robbins, want to make such a barren surface seem like an inviting place with skeins of birds flying about? It seems like that would entice other silo residents curious to tempt fate to find out if there is indeed something out better there. Is it simply for the morale of the citizenry and if it is, why does that outweigh showing what is really out there, or what isn't, be a more effective tool in keeping them under his thumb? And did you notice the outline of a skyline that dots the far-off horizon? Is it a post-apocalyptic environment or a life-bearing civilization? What does Mayor Holland mean when he says, she knows? When Juliet is outdoors, she crouches down and places the badge where Allison and her husband Sheriff Holston Becker fell in the first two episodes of the show. She realizes the visuals are fake when she reaches out to place the badge, but doesn't look around. Mayor Bernard is then taken aback and responds by saying to Rob Sims, she knows. What precisely does she know? Sims, his right-hand man, doesn't appear to understand what he's talking about either. Does he intend to imply that the pictures are false and that they are actually stuck on a lifeless planet covered in craters? Does he mean that she is aware of something more dangerous and deeper than that? She has already gotten much farther on her walk than he anticipated, and he becomes desperate. Holland races back to the control room where he throws a switch that dissolves the fake imagery and presents the reality of a barren wasteland, marked only with craters. What do all the other craters mean? Are there further silos with distinct civilizations beneath those craters? You have to wonder if there are other houses within the surfaces Juliet finds herself on as she exits from the one she came from. Anything that extends beyond the silo's confines may contain additional items because we know the silo descends directly. The crucial phrase from the epilogue is once more Mayor Holland's she knows. What precisely does he know about the past of the silo and perhaps even the founders, apart from the fact that the picturesque exterior is a fabrication? How much more does she know? And if it is just a vast nothingness, then where did all the relics come from, like the book about the state of Georgia and the Pez dispenser? So many major questions that will hopefully be addressed in season 2. What happens to Juliet's father and other accomplices still in the silo? What will Holland and Sims do with them when season 2 begins? Will helping Juliet have consequences? We witnessed what transpired to systems analyst Lucas Kyle after he helped Juliet. He was sentenced to 10 years of hard labor in the iron ore mines deep within the bowels of the silo. We'd hate to see anything happen to Martha after overcoming her 25-year-long battle with agoraphobia to support her adopted daughter. And that role became even more important as it is revealed that she was never supposed to have been born, according to the strict guidelines on reproduction. Finally, where will Juliet go in season 2 of Silo? Juliet has traveled further than any other person has ever done when leaving the silo to clean. So what comes next? She is confronted by a universe that, at best, seems hostile and enigmatic, and, at worst, might be entirely uninhabitable. What will she do next? We can only speculate as to whether she will find any friends who will take her in, but we have no idea what awaits the truth seeker. 
Season 2's first issue will undoubtedly be how to deal with the fate of our most valiant former generator boss, turned intrepid sheriff turned unpredictable rebel. If show creator Graham Yost, Justified, manages to adapt a second batch of episodes from Hugh Howey's trilogy source material of novels that is anywhere near as compelling as the first, then we are all in for another gripping sci-fi ride.